you like this to the position pitcher player paint, pitching right now at this point in the game, night? You know, it's, you see it so often at the college level, and it's, it's been something that uh, has been very common here throughout the history of Cal State Bakersfield's baseball program. Uh, uh, Bill Kernan employed that quite a bit, you know, and uh, looks like Macaluso's Back the same. The middle, base hit for Harris. So Harris is going to reach on that base hit up the middle. He's now two for four. Brings up Noisy. Noisy, of course, single and scored on the home run by Flansburg. And the bullpen has been uh, been a little bit of a rough patch for the Roadrunners this year. There's been uh, some damage done uh, against bullpen. Last night, Garrett Nimmo pitched very well. He actually replaced Stephen G, right? Yeah, Stephen G was uh, you know had to leave the game when it, with forearm stiffness in the uh, in the fourth inning, and uh, Nimmo came out and basically finished the game. But uh, Carter struggled here in several games lately. Carter goes back to first base. They're really going to need to get this bullpen straightened out if they're going to have any chance of contending in the whack this year. It's um, You just can't be going in there and giving up all these runs that they've been right. doing lately. Again, maybe that might be a lot of it might be the opposition. They've been playing some very strong opponents. First pitch there to Noisy is low and away. One ball, no strikes. Oklahoma now out hitting Bakersfield at 10 to five and then holding a five to three lead. We're in the top of the seventh. Neither team has had an error. Carter looking in, comes to the plate, swung on and towering foul down the left field line. Deaton goes over, but that's will be well out of play. Yep. Back out Hello. behind the bullpens of Oklahoma. Yeah, it bounced actually over the wall. It looks like it bent into the sump that's out there past the left uh, field foul territory. So one, not even to count it, one and one. Again, Noisy is uh, a four home run hitter this year, which leads the Sooners. Carter looks over at first. Pretty good lead over there by Harris. Outside with the fastball, two and one. So the Roadrunners trying to look for, try to keep it right here at two run game. Don't want to let this thing get away from them if they can help it. Carter now into a stretch. Here's the two one delivery. Fastball right down the middle, two and two count. Carter this year in five and two thirds innings has allowed nine earned runs. That's a 14 29 earned run average coming in. So he really has had some uh, struggles at times. He's allowed 10 hits and nine runs. He's also walked three, struck out seven in five and two thirds innings. Two and two count here. Comes to the plate, swung on a miss, struck him out. So he always dropped the ball, but uh, with the runner on first base, there's no uh, noise attempt been, there. Noise has been noisy tonight at the, at the uh, plate, and so it's good to get him out. Well, he was, he was two for three prior to that with a double and a single. Jeff and I had some controversy earlier about Flansburg's attire. Jeff was not impressed with that conversation. <laughs> Pretty certain that Flansburg was wearing his socks high and then changed them back down to the to the low stuff. It's amazing how observant you are. That's what I'm paid for, Jeff. I'm paid to be observant. That's why I keep an eye on you and your eating habits at all times. Make sure you're hydrated, have the, the right milkshakes and the right protein matter. Long Island iced cheese and everything, huh? Yeah, with the straw is, is that's a, did, that's a, that did, that's a, did that surprise you? That did. Well, it was a long day, though, <laughs> the WAC tournament. First pitch there to <coughs> Flansburg is well outside, 1-0. If you're on with, with us on Bakersfield.com, we thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate you being here. Carter yeah. now looking in. Several baseball webcasts throughout the season here on Bakersfield.com with CSUB. Probably we'll get one more in, I would think, with uh, BC this season. One more game with them, I think, we'll, we'll do. Not sure when that will be. They have a winning record. They won last night to prove just 10 and 7 on the season. Beat Glendale 6 to 5, scoring all their runs early. 6 nothing in the second inning, and then they uh, held on and won 6 5. They'll be playing again tomorrow. A lot of action tomorrow. You know, that's kind of typical for Saturday. Yeah, a lot of action. Sand volleyball, and I guess they call it beach volleyball now. Then you got water polo, and then you got the baseball here. And here's Carter's delivery of the plate is 
This oh, is somewhere. It must have been a little bit outside. It looked like a pretty good a pitch. A little bit low, I guess, too. Anyway, it's two and one count. To Jack Flansburg, the second baseman for the Sooners. Flansburg is one for two with the big two-run home run in the sixth inning. We're in the seventh now, 5-3 Oklahoma. Carter comes to the plate, swung on a little That's number a off the end of the bat, foul by inches oh, down the left field line. Looked like it was gonna maybe bite the line there. Ball wasn't foul it. by much. It didn't have a lot on it, but uh, kind of a dead quail flighting down the left field line there, and uh, that evens to count at two and two. I mean, Flansburg hit a bomb last time up, and then that time the ball was about 120 feet down the line. Team flight going to land, landing a little bit closer to 1045 at Atlantic Aviation near the Old Meadows Field Terminal. Are you going to go and greet your boss, my, uh, Zach Ewing? I'll probably be still working to help out. That Flansburg swings and misses for strike three. I'll probably be in the office helping out. You see the Fresno Bee ran this lazy AP story about them landing the plane in Las Vegas? Seven. And they didn't even use Zach's story. I'm like, come on, you guys are lazy. Don't use an AP story. USA Today even had the gumption to quote Zach on from his tweet. Really? Uh, his tweets, yeah. Two out here in the seventh. Alex Y is the batter. Back to first. Well, you know, I tell you, you know, Zach's gonna be on top of that kind of stuff. And um, Wise is, um, by the way, one for three tonight. Grounded yeah. out to Jones in his first, his uh, last at bat. Hit the ball hard in his other. He lined to right earlier. He also hit a home run yesterday. So uh, first pitch there is outside, 1-0. It looks down at the first third base coach. It's also his head coach. 5-3 to three here, Oklahoma, in the seventh. Carter working quickly. Glances at first. Comes to the plate. High and away for a fastball, 2-0. Again, everybody looking over at the third base coach to see if anything might be on. 2 nothing, 2-0 two count here. Carter looks in for the sign, glances over at first. Pretty good lead over there. Base runner Harris. Next one is lifted foul on the right field line. Out of play. Bounces over the Bakersfield clubhouse. That evens the count at 2-2. Two and two. Alex Wise, batting. Carter, looks over at first. It's a pitch. Inside, almost hits him, yeah. ball three. That was tight. Three and one count here for Carter against Wise. Carter's played really well here, getting the two guys no noisy and Flansburg to strike out. Their problems earlier in the game. For Hanson. Ball oh, four, wow. that pitch misses. So Wise reaches for the second time tonight. What a walk. Steele Walker, the center fielder, is now coming Steel up to the plate. Walker. Made a nice play in the last half inning to run down Cody White's long, long fly ball. Sooners already have a five to three lead, looking to add on. Carter looking to try to Get out of the inning and keep it close. Walker, left-handed batter against the right-hander, Carter. Here's the first pitch. Fastball on the outside corner for a called strike, 0-1. Infield backed up now, again with two outs. There's no activity going on in the CHB bullpen. Oklahoma's got a couple guys up in their bullpen. Carter. Asking for the signs to be reissued. Jones jockeying behind the runner at second. Here comes the throw to the plate. Another breaking pitch. And he's going to go out and talk to Walker. Mark. Walker tried to you know start a swing, held up. It was a ball, so one and one. Yeah, Junior, Junior Felix goes out there to talk to uh, Max Carter, the new Bakersfield catcher. Felix now jogs back to get behind the plate. And here we go. We'll Carter looking in for the sign. Short lead at second. 
by Harris. Here's the 1-1 delivery. Taking a long time, here it comes. Swung on and check swing, fouled away down the left, the left field side. Now how many hours a week, Jeff, do you anticipate to talk about baseball? Now that when, once the season starts. Am I gonna be paying you for 40 hours of work or maybe 30 hours of work and 10 hours a week of, of baseball chatter with your buddy from Glendale? No, I, I, I are you gonna be running your fantasy league? Uh, I mean, give me the details here. I gotta, this I gotta, is stuff I do at home. This is why I always operate through my home computer. Now, I thought that I gave you the opportunity that starting sometime in the next year that you would be able to run your fantasy team as long as I was able to live stream it. Okay, well, we haven't talked a lot of detail about that. that. Doesn't that sound exciting to you? It does. Because we have what? a. I uh, mean, honestly, there's there's people that I've met who've run fantasy base. I knew a guy I worked with at the uh, San Bernardino Sun. He won't be uh, he won't be named, but I'm sort of implicating him already. That's all his job was was to run the fantasy baseball. <laughs> That's why newspapers are in trouble. Well, see, I, you know, obviously you you got to do your, got to worry about covering the colleges. But I tell you what, I'm. Uh, you know, you're always looking to see what's going on. But I have, a, you know, got the day off lined up to do our auction. We have an auction fantasy national league. Now, you, go back to ro you went back to, you're a rotisserie guy from the start, right? I'm sorry? You're a rotisserie oh. guy from the start, right? I, uh, yeah, well, I've been doing this since 1988. I've been involved with the league. You nearly knocked out the, the deal. Yeah. yeah. So Carter gets Walker to fly out to keep the game 5-3 to three as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch time here. Five to three, Oklahoma.